Hi there, and thank you for tuning in. Viltrox kindly sent me this Studio Light Ninja 10B for review. It's a 120 watt LED light with a color rendition index above 95, which is bound to give you precise colors at any color temperature. There is a link in the description to the Viltrox homepage where you can find lots of information about this product. Prices start at $278 for the bicolor version, but there are several packages available, adding both batteries and a softbox, so make sure you select the right package for you. In the standard box, you will find the light itself, a so-called retaining clip, a handle, and a power supply, and it is delivered in a nice pad bag for easy storage and travel. Other than the on-off switch, the control that you will be using the most is the big dial on the rear of the Ninja. Turn it to control the brightness of the light and push it once to switch to control the color temperature. Push it again and switch back to the brightness control. A nice clear LCD on the rear will show you your selections. You have 19 channels and 6 groups to choose from, so I don't think you will run out of options for finding an available combination. The number of options and details you can control with the app is much better than what the control on the rear of the light offers, so I quickly got in the habit of using the app for controlling the light. The app also gives you easy access to a lot of predefined effects. The Ninja comes with a bounce interface so you can use your reflectors and modifiers you may already have, or you can use the reflector that comes with the Ninja. A useful item is the so-called retaining clip that allows you to secure the power supply to the stand so it's not hanging in the power cable on the rear of the light. It may sound like a small thing, but when you first get used to this adapter, you wonder how you could do without it. The body is made of aluminium, as is the handles. So the build quality is far better than what I otherwise see with other vendors that use plastic bodies and plastic handles. The only really negative thing I can find to say about the Ninja 10B is that the fan gives some noise, and reducing the fan speed does not seem to mitigate this issue. If you have a sensitive microphone that picks up the ambient noise easily, this could be an issue. If not, then I think this light should definitely be on your shortlist if you are in the market for a light for a small studio.